Hey everyone, welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Monster High G3 Deuce Gorgon. I have Jackie Lawyer coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned for her. He's really quite different looking from the original Deuce, as I'm sure we're all familiar with. Most notably, him being green. This is like a whole like different Monster High. It's like not the same that we're used to, so there are going to be differences, and there are plenty with many of the characters. So here's the box. It has Monster High along the side. Um. One thing I do not like about this generation is the artwork. I think it's atrocious, personally. <laughs> there's some symbols on the side to represent him. Monster High, and there's the ghouls. Deuce Gorgon, monster type, and ghoul is Gorgon. Monster must have sunglasses and snake hair wax. Monster patch is Perseus. So he still has Perseus, who also got a new look. Some of them have different pets, and some of them have the originals. There's his art. It's like very like, I don't know. They kind of remind me of like cereal box mascots. But um, anyways, let's open up Deuce and get a closer look. Here's Deuce. So he has like a side smirk. It's very like subtle, but it's there. As mentioned, he's green, which is an interesting choice. It was probably to make him look more monster-like and less like a normie. But um, I don't know. It's like fine, I guess. Like it doesn't bother me too much. He has his snakes down the side, whereas like the first wave original had them standing up. I actually have the original right here. I think the original snakes are done so much nicer. Um, I just love the gradient look on them a lot more. I think they look more like detailed in that way. I don't love how like one tone they are. It just looks not like, I don't know, it looks weird. I've seen people like repaint it and it looks a lot better and I could do that if I really wanted to, but I shouldn't have to, you know what I mean? I think like the extra added details would have been really nice. He's wearing this muscle shirt that is black with a snake on it. It's like giving reputation, like this is such a reputation stand. Like I just know it, he, he must be. And I love him for that, cause me too. He has like snake skin print all over his jacket in green. And there's little orange snakes on the sleeve there. It's well made actually. Um, it's not, I don't think it's like real denim, but like it's it's like a fake denim-y feeling, if that makes sense. Um, but it, it's well constructed and it's like rather thick, which is nice. His pants are like these, um, they're kind of like sweatpants. I don't love the material, but like I can get past that, it's fine. They're nice. They have like snake print on the side stripes and like a purple snake along his leg. We love a reputation stand. His shoes I don't love. They're like this beige with red on the bottom. They kind of look like, I'm not like a, a shoes girly, so like, I don't know. But they look like some sort of like sport shoes that I've seen, I don't know. They kind of have like snake faces in the front though. With this look, I'm not like loving the shoes. I wish they were like black or gray or green or something. Here's his glasses. Deuce needs glasses, of course, because he turns people to stone otherwise. I don't know if it, I'm just tripping or what, but they're very hard to put on because of his snakes. I should also mention they're all just like one thing. They're not separated or anything. And because they're like so close to his head, like getting that side on is like good luck. I do like him without, but like I also feel like Deuce needs to have his glasses on at all times. Like that's his thing. So I don't know. He has this crossbody bag in purple with snake scales and a little snake head on the front. I don't love it, so I won't really like display him with it. Maybe if I put it in the back, but I don't know, it's, it's not my favorite. Um, but we love accessories regardless. And then this little snake skin apron. I remember the girlies on Instagram were thinking it's a skirt when like the leaks were shown and stuff, but it is an apron. An often overlooked detail of Deuce in G1 was that he loved to bake and stuff, and I'm so glad they kept that in G3. And not only that, but they embraced it. He even comes in the little like barista set or whatever with Frankie, which I do want. So yeah, I love that. We love men in baking. Speaking of baking, he does come with a cupcake and the frosting is like a little snake. So cute. And the little eye coffin as well. One thing I do like about these newer dolls is the personalized eye coffins. Um, Previously, they all kind of used the same mold, but the stickers would be like personalized to the character in like different colors and stuff. But these, they have personalized cases 
and I just love that little detail. His is a snake, of course. I just know he's on like Swift Talk and Swift Twitter, speculating about Reputation Taylor's version. I just know it. Here's Perseus. I will say this, I don't really care for the G3 pets. I obviously I haven't opened all the dolls and like experienced them, so I can't say for certain, but I can just tell I don't love them as much. I don't know. He's like fine. He's giving like little littlest pet shop. They're like, yeah, cool. And he has um, snake wax for his snakes. And his last accessory is a water bottle with Medusa on it, which is really cute. Here's a comparison of both Medusas. Now, for me personally, I mean, this one just outsold all the way. But um, that could be nostalgia and bias talking there. But I personally just think his style is a lot cooler. I really like his style. This one's like cute too. I really like him, but nothing will be the original for me personally. Here's the body comparison. For Deuce specifically, he's much thicker than the original. He's even different than G2. I don't have a G2 Deuce anymore to compare, but if I'm going by memory, it's he's not like as jacked as that one. That one was more like it resembled Ever After High. And although this one is very similar, it's more similar to G2 than it is G1, I think. I think he's just like not as ripped. I mean, he's definitely muscular, but like not as much. He looks more like a teen, I think. He looks a lot more like youthful. He's also a tad bit shorter than the original Deuce, taking the original one off the stand. And these ones don't have stands, by the way, which is a little disappointing, but I'll live with it. Um, and yeah, the hands are more flat, they're not as curved. And if you were wondering, yes, the arms and hands do still come out, which is good because it makes dressing a lot easier. Alrighty, for one, thank you for watching my review on Deuce. I actually had quite a lot of fun opening and reviewing him. This is also like my first impressions of um, the new Monster High. And tomorrow will be my first impressions of one of the girl dolls. So that's really exciting as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, my final thoughts. I really enjoy these. I would definitely like to get a couple of more. I don't plan on getting like all of them because I don't love all of them. But some of them are really cute and I really like them. So I will be buying. Tell me what you guys think of the new Monster High and the new Deuce in particular. And what do you think of him compared to the original? And until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!